bond, single bond. The double bond, constructed of two electrons right in the middle that we call a sigma bond, but two electrons are out of plane, such as you can look at this and say, well, in front and behind, so that's a pi bond. A single bond is a sigma. A double bond is a sigma and a pi. And it's possible for you to say that I want that top one to be the sigma. I want the bottom one to be the pi. That's just fine. All the rest of the single bonds, sigmas. What do you think is going on with the triple? One of those has the pair of electrons between the nuclei. It's a sigma bond. The other one has electrons like top and bottom, pi bond. The other one has the electrons, and you might think of them as being like in the third dimension, like front and back. That's another pi bond. So it's true, a triple bond is a sigma, a pi, and a pi. Pauling labels, very nice. For a carbon, let me point out this one, that has four single bonds, four sigma bonds. SP3 hybridization. For a carbon that has a single, single, and a double, SP2 hybridization. For a carbon, we've got a couple of them on the right side here, single, triple, sp. And I would like to point out one more possibility that's not in this structure. Because carbon forms four bonds, you can have a carbon with a double on each side. For example, carbon dioxide, CO2. That's linear, just as a single, triple. Turns out that it's sp. Wow, perfect. Um, do you have time for one more? You good for about another five minute one? I've got one minute about. It's okay. <laughs> I like to talk a little bit about the comparison between single, double, and triple bonds. So I made up uh, three very small molecules hydrocarbons, hydrogen and carbon only. And the number of hydrogens varies because of the bonding, the bond order. Triple bond here, double bond here, single bond here. When you have a triple bond, you have six electrons, six electrons to make a triple bond. That triple bond, compared to a double and a single, is your strongest and your shortest. Let's swing over to the single bond here and note that your single bond is made out of just two electrons, two negative charges. Positive charges here is going to distance themselves a little bit, and it turns out that this is the weakest and the longest. And then, of course, your double bond falls between here with both counts. This also goes for nitrogen-nitrogen bonds. A nitrogen-nitrogen single, nitrogen-nitrogen double, and a triple. And it goes for anything else. You can pick your atom as long as you pick one that can make single, double, and triple. What would you say here? Shorter, longer, longer. And then over here, shorter. Out of these three, which one's the strongest? It's the triple. <laughs>